right, so we've done our inspection and we have a signed agreement from you that you'd like to move forward with us. So what happens after we've done our inspection, after we put the, together the quote and presented that to you, and after you decided, you know what, I like these guys, I like this quote, let's, let's do business together. What happens after that? So at that point, it's actually completely in our wheelhouse. We're doing a whole lot of planning. Sometimes this is where things can take a little bit longer. So what we're trying to do in this stage of the project is one, identify if we need a permit. And if we do, we need to pull a permit. Now in Colorado, things are a little bit different. There's no such thing as a statewide license for roofing. The license is actually per municipality, per county, per city, no matter what you're doing business in. So we as contractors have to have a lot of licenses throughout the state in order to do work everywhere we possibly can in the state. So what that means sometimes is if you're the first roof that we have in your county or your state just for the year, we might need to renew our license or we might need to pull a new license. Sometimes that means that we need to get our insurance to write a new certificate of insurance, submit that to the building department, then we can apply for the license. Once that gets approved, we can then apply for the permit and then we're ready to move forward. So sometimes it takes a little bit longer because there's more people involved when it comes to the planning phase. After we have that lined out, what we want to do is make sure that we choose a, a day on the schedule that the weather is going to be relatively good, at least good enough for when we do the repair. We want to make sure that we have the right crew that can handle that type of work on the project and they're available for it as well. Then we want to source the materials to make sure that we have access to it for when we want to do the repair. What that or the replacement. What that means is we might have a follow-up consultation with you. It's called a project prep meeting. That project prep meeting is primarily when we come back out with samples of roof or siding products with different colors and show you what options you have. That gives you an idea of what your finished product is going to look like. So that project prep meeting is really just one more check in with you to make sure that we have all the details correct. You are fully aware of how our process is going to look like moving forward, which I'll go over that in future videos. And then make sure that every single little detail is lined out so when we get started, there's no questions. So it's at this stage that we, we bill you the first invoice. That first invoice is a very small $500, and that's to cover the permit. And that's on jobs where we have permits. We don't always have to pull a permit. In that case, we don't ask for a deposit. But if we do have to pull a permit, that goes directly to the city. That cost has to be paid for ahead of time. So we do bill you as a deposit, that $500 deposit for the permit. Because we go directly into pulling a permit and pulling a license if required, that deposit is non-refundable. We do try to get that moving as fast as possible so that you don't have to wait that much longer, having paid $500 and kind of wondering what's next. That's what this video is for. So during this stage, we're going to communicate with you where we're at in the process. You can even check in on your customer portal to see where we're at in the process as well, assuming that those milestones have been checked when those milestones occur. We do try to stay on top of that. So at this stage, we have our first deposit. We're scrambling on the back end, trying to make sure that we have all the documentation with insurance, with the building department, and with permitting. We want to make sure that we have the right crew available on the right day. We want to make sure that we have the correct materials and double checking that you and I and everybody involved has all of the necessary details in order to move forward uh, efficiently and productively. After this stage is when production starts. Mm -hmm.